Welcome to Winging It. We're playing Gloomhaven Digital today. Uh, I'm going to be taking my fourth attempt at uh, the uh, Frozen Hollow. I've gotten wrecked on it. Um, I actually did just, uh, just make an attempt about five minutes ago, and I aborted it right away because I made a really stupid choice and burned like a ton of cards that didn't need to happen, and I didn't think that that was going to be very entertaining. So I'm not going to do the city encounter, uh, and we'll just go do the Frozen Hollow, and I will try not to be bad this time. An enchanter has been... Oh, you, you, I need an... So, of course, um, we have leveled up both of these characters. So... Uh, the, the enemies will be harder, but I think the upgrades I've made will help. Okay, so traveling off the beaten hat path, you were surprised to see a large group of figures on the horizon. You take out your weapons and move cautiously forward. As you get closer, it becomes clear that the figures are not alive, but sculptures of some kind, made haphazardly out of branches, garbage, and scrap metal. They are 50 or so in the middle of a field, with no other signs of life as far as you can see. You see a necklace that may be valuable on one of them and go to grab it. Don't touch her! You wheel around to see an old man in rags emerge from a hole in the ground and charge you with a broken broom handle. These women are all mine. Um, so we can defend ourselves with lethal force, or we can attempt to calm down the hermit and resolve the situation peacefully. We'll do that. Oh, he's going to curse us. You grab the broom handle and wrestle the old man to the ground, attempting to restrain his failing limbs. You try to explain this is all misunderstanding, but he just keeps warning you not to take this, uh, not to defecate on his wives. Ugh. The man is surprisingly agile, and the stench of his rags also makes him uh, keeping him pinned difficult. He slips free and scrambles around for his broom handle, muttering about the star's gift. You run away with haste, but his odor is much harder to escape. And we're cursed. That feels bad. The map is e All right. So what are our battle goals here? Kill one or more elite monsters. Use no items. We're definitely going to use items, so we'll do that. Take only long rests, probably. Yeah, we'll take do the tech only wrong long rest. I'm not going to optimize though. I mean, this is fourth attempt. We're going to um, we're we're not going to pull any punches here. All right. So we are going to go slow. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with the perverse edge and silent scream. So we'll stun one of these guys and. You know, I even wonder if it's worth that. We'll, um, we'll actually do the Submission of Affliction for the... Yeah. To have them hit each other is pretty good. Um, and then we'll go very, very slow. We'll use a Sinister Opportunity, and uh, we'll go ahead and poison one. I think that's good. Let them come to us and attack us. I wonder if that spirit... One, two, three, one, two, three, four... It is going to be able to hit us, I think. One, two, no, it's... Okay. We'll see. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. All right. Yeah, you can't crit me. What are they doing, anyway? Are they getting the multiplier? Uh, we won't use the shield this time yet. This is, the, okay. I didn't even see what they did. We'll use the heater shield in that one. Wow, that's a ton of damage. All right. All right, so we're gonna have this one attack this one. The retaliate goes back, so that's pretty nice. Then we're going to attack this. We'll go ahead and do the poison. But then we get to do a heal. We're gonna heal the uh, scoundrel. 
All right. Then... I think we just need to heal ourselves up. Because this guy could really do a ton of damage. So we'll go ahead and do the healing potion. Alright. So we're just gonna poison... What that... What, which one? Yeah, this one's already poisoned, so we'll poison this one. Then we can attack this guy. That worked out pretty well. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna go fast. We will perverse edge and then scurry up to make sure we're getting melee attacks. Which is getting our healing, but let's see. We ideally would like the rogue to be in front. Hmm. Throwing knives. And then we can kind of move up, I guess. Eh, I mean, I guess we could try to get some gold while we move. Oh no, we want the swift bow. Or we can just kill the thing that's in front of us. Yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah, good call. Okay, these guys are going to move three attack two. So I gotta be very careful. Not to let the mind thief get overwhelmed here. Okay. As I said, now attack four, range three. One, two, three. So it shouldn't be attacking us. So the first thing we're gonna do, we'll stun this one, so we don't get retaliated. And then we have the scurry, but we don't need to scurry now. We can just straight up attack one of these guys. We're gonna heal ourselves, that's uh, a stamina potion. Oh, we've already used our healing potion. Great. All right. So we'll just hit for two. It's going to retaliate one, but then we'll heal up. And then I think we cloak of invisibility so that we don't uh, get exhausted super early here. Is there a stamina potion thing we need to get back? Just gonna use, yeah, no, we'll be okay next turn. All right, but all right. So she can heal up, right? Yeah. All right. Well, unfortunately, we are going to get retaliated against. Maybe not. Eh. Okay. Okay, yeah, we'll just do this one. Then we will hit these two. And because we kill it, we don't get retaliated again, so. I think we're okay with that not hitting us. We're gonna go ahead and heal up though. One, two, 
three. Okay. So the scoundrel I know can do this duelist advance along with the swift bow and the vantage and hopefully just take out. It's a lot though. It'd be better if we could poison her first. Alright, and then the mine thief will we're going to stun one of them with a frigid operation and the other one will use the brain leech. Um, so we're going to take a hit, but we will uh, heal up. So Okay. So the hounds are moving after us. My thief goes first. First thing we'll do is we will, I guess, hit this one. Retaliates, but we're going to heal. Then we are going to, oh yeah, and then we strengthen. Is there anything we want to get back? No, we still have the fearsome blade, so we're good. And we can actually mine's weakness. That'd be nice. again did we not oh yeah we consumed it. okay we're good I don't think there's a push of me back right now so we're good a scoundrel will then this buff and then we should be able to attack that with their goggles yes we got the crit okay Good deal. <sighs> ah, I tried so hard. All right. Taking five damage is a lot. Okay, we'll, uh, no. Choose another card. We'll burn the empathetic assault. Alright. Flanking strike. And then we'll just move. Get out of there. As much as I want to loot. <laughs> And then we can mine's weakness, yeah. You know what? I think she can take these guys out. So instead, we're going to just go slow, loot, and then move. Sounds good. How fast is she going? If they go fast, it's going to be a problem. So we'll do the flanking strike with the potential of going slow. But if we need to kill this one before it attacks the Mind Thief, we'll do that. Gives us options. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a problem, unfortunately. All right, so we'll just kill it. Uh, so I say... Wow. The Mind Thief is going to get wrecked here. They're doing a lot of attacks. <sighs> Let's get out of here.
I right, burned two cards. I don't know if this is going to work very well, but um, we're going to long rest with both of them. And see? I'm so frustrated right now. I worked so hard to try and keep everybody alive, and it didn't work. So. Alright, what are we gonna burn? Uh, the perverse edge. I hate to do it. Because that's our stun, but. And it's, it's ranged. I may regret myself. Okay. We're just going to have to trust in doing more damage. We can't take time off to heal. Okay. We're moving into the next room. We want to go fast. We'll just flanking strike. And then move. I should have clicked off the silent scream, but whatever. We will, uh, we burned into the night, so we can't even get this loot. All right, we will scurry. One, two, three. Actually, we can hit that thing. And that would provide some healing. And then we'll just move. Oh, it's not going to help. Okay, so let's just hit it quickly. And then we'll get out of here. All this beautiful gold. All right, now they're side by side. Without most of their tools, but. All right. There's not much she can do here. Keep the fearsome blade. Probably don't need the bright braid this. And probably don't need the mind's weakness, honestly. Alright. We can move up and use the swift bow. I think that's the plan. Do we have a good move? We don't have a good move. But we can use her boots. So one. Where's the exit? Okay. So we just need to move four. Probably not going to use the flintlock this time. So. One, two. Okay, so we can shoot this guy. Yep. Let's do it. Eagle eyes. Let's go. He's going to move forward, but he's not going to attack us, so. What's this guy going to do? Move three, attack one, two, three, attack one, two, three. Okay. Alright. I think we're going to put on the mind's weakness. 
at least just for an XP. And then we'll move up. Well, let's see. What are we gonna? What are we gaining by moving up? Pearson blade. I mean, scoundrel is gonna have to move, attack and leave, right? weird okay I just, just I guess we're just kind of hanging out with the mind thief get one step closer to the action We get a card back. Is there a card that we would want? Scurry. You can move in, attack once, and then get back out. Submissive Affliction, yes. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, she can use that to actually have them wail on each other. Okay, nice. Alright, so what are we doing? I think we're just stepping back and throwing knives at them. Or we could stay here and go quiet, uh, go, yeah. We could do a top attack and a bottom attack. It's pretty good, we'll go quickly. And do a top attack and bottom attack. We'll take four damage for doing this, but then we can, we can use Cloak of Invisibility. I think that's good. One, two, three, four, and she can use submissive affliction. And the top doesn't actually matter. Okay, they're gonna move two, attack four. I think Spear is gonna move three, attack three. It will hit the mine three for right. One. One, two, three, attack. Well, no, it won't. Okay, cool. Okay. So we're going to skip the movement. Just attack. We can give it a poison. Is this guy already damaged? It is. So if there's a chance we can kill it. back for stamina potion. Something to run away or something to do a big a top attack. You know, I think we will actually stamina potion this. And get back the thief snack. And then we can really work on that guy next turn. Oh, this this whole plan of using the submissive affliction doesn't work because I killed one. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, we're going to go quiet. We go silent. So, 
So let's see. Do we have the boots? We don't have the boots. This guy's going to move one, two, three, and then so we don't want to get attacked. So yeah, we're really just not doing anything useful. Probably should have just taken a long rest, but... Oh, there's a guy back there? What's he doing? Why isn't he moving? <laughs> That's funny. Because the way is blocked. Okay. So I went and got that submissive affliction and did nothing with it. Alright, we're going to go super slow. And then we'll go the thief snack and, yeah, try to do a top and bottom attack. Taking all this damage. We're going to have to fade a long rest here. But let's see. We're going to take off the mind's weakness. Yep. We're healing. And... So many good cards. I'm going to drop the fearsome blade, even though I know it's good. All right. She's going to scurry quickly. And then apply the silent scream. Yeah. And we're going to try to long rest, and hopefully we do it fast enough that we don't get hit. Okay. What's this guy going to do? He's going to attack for Oh no! Oh no, this doesn't work at all! Oh no! Okay. I thought I, I forgot that I needed this. Alright. Well. We're still gonna come up here. Try to kill this guy. I wasted my scurry. Alright, cool. And we'll heal up our scoundrel friend. We can evade the tax. I'll get rid of the Venom Shiv. All right. 
right, so the goal here... Swift bow. To attack this thing. With the bandage, should be able to kill it. All right, that's good. The mind thief will go slow. Yeah, just go slow and then hopefully be able to walk up and hit this guy depending on what he does. Move four, attack three. One, two, three, four, perfect. Take it. Oh no. It moved much uh, faster than I thought. Alright. Well. We'll apply a poison. But then we'll heal ourselves. Now oh, he's got a wound. He's got two negative conditions on him. We'll try to do as much as we can here. All right, we killed him. Great. Okay, we're just going to try to get as far as we can across the map. Whew. If I hadn't burned those two cards at the beginning, I think we would have been doing pretty well. Okay, we're just going to move twice. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And we'll get all this gold. Getting across the map. I wasted that scurry earlier. Okay, so we may want to drop a sinister opportunity, I think. I don't know that we need the frigid apparition. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need to drop. We need to click off the silent screen. Okay. We're going to. Uh, I meant to click off the silent screen before we started this, so we'll just uh, restart the round. Nothing big happened. So, same thing as before here, whoops, and we're going to click off the silent screen and do a long rest. There we go. This is the move 5, right? Okay. gonna say we don't need the frigid apparition. Right, we can long rest here and wait for the mine thief to catch up. Uh, one, two, 
one, two, three, four, five. Do we want the silent screen on? Do we want to walk in there with the mind's weakness? I'm not sure. Well, we're going to scurry and move on. One, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. Dropping the sinister opportunity. We're really slow. I don't know if we'll be able to submit an affliction. That's uh, range five. We'll see. Meanwhile, we're going to open this room, duelist advance, and then just come right back out. We have another five, move five. One, two, three, and then run back out. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so this guy's a retaliate. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, this guy is move three, attack four. He's got uh, 14 health. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wanted to move with the Duelist Advance. Okay, so let's try this again. Because I just picked the wrong ability. What did I pick for her? Yeah. Makes no sense to run in there. The whole point of those was I wanted to run in and do damage and then run back out. All right. So we still have the Mind Thief was going to do those two things slowly. And then we are going to, it was Flanking Strike and the Duelist Advance, yeah. And then we pick the Duelist Advance when we go in. That was the intent. This guy retaliates for a giant three. So we're going to have to figure out a way to deal with him. Let's poison dagger this guy. Get the image back. Alright, he's gonna move four and attack two. He's gonna attack the mind thief. That's okay though. Running out, other things come after us. Oh, hey, nice. Oh, there's nobody that I can use that on. Wound this guy. We could probably kill him. We're in a long rest anyway, aren't we? Yeah. So we can use that. And then we get all the bonuses. 
Ha. Crit when you don't need it, but I'll take it. Attack four. Oh my gosh. Oh, but not doing anything again. Okay, so actually I want to short rest. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We're just gonna, yeah. Well, we don't have one on, actually. So we're going to short rest. One, two, three, yeah. Oh. Okay, no more healing. Straight up damage now. Okay, so we're going to use Brain Leech and... Submissive Affliction, because if we make this guy attack him, he'll retaliate, retaliates, go through shields, and it'll just one-shot him. Alright. So, we may not last beyond that. But. We can go slow. We want a swift bow. Let's see. Is there a way to move in? get on the other side of them. Two, three, four. And we can swap out that guy. Yo, we have our boots. Okay. There's no reason to go slow, though. Or go fast. Except that we want to protect the Mind Thief. She's got 8 health. She'll potentially be okay. So, we'll go slow. We'll move 1, 2, 3, 4. And then attack that, and we'll see. Or, we can just swift bow this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's better. So... One, two, three, four. We can even hit him from here and not have to put ourselves in danger. I'm still going slow, though. I just want to have the flintlock available to me, but I guess we'll do that. We'll just do it after the next rest. Okay, so this guy's going to move four, attack four, and they're going to move three, attack three. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then we'll have you attack you. <laughs> That's so fun. There's really no reason to use the brain leech yet. That's attack four. One, two, three, four. Well, if I get lucky, I could actually just kill that thing right outright. But I mean, one, two, three, four. How many turns do we have if we do that? Two. We still have a few turns. Oh, we have two turns left. And this Moose Affliction becomes useless. But I don't think we need that many. Let's try it. Oh, we just... Not quite good enough. All right. That might have been rash. Two, three, four. We could kill this spirit. Or we could go after this guy. Hmm. 
What is the mind thieves next turn? Is the short and then. Yeah, my thief doesn't have matrix now. That guy could heal. I think we want to do it, so. Let's see, if we burn. We'll, uh, oh, what am I doing? Oh, I have to look at you there, yeah. Talking with advantage. Oh no, that was like, I went all in on that. <laughs> all right. All right. So next turn, we're gonna have Thief Snack the throwing knives let's see the, the throwing knives are I guess we're okay just stay here We'll go fast, whatever it's going to be. And we'll go fast here. He shields move five. Let's see what the Mind Thief has. Mind Thief can scurry. He's not going to attack. Okay, cool. So we actually can put ourselves in a pretty good position here. Oh, but we want to be able to... Okay, we're just going to attack this guy. And then run away. That's pretty good. Yeah, we have a lot of cards left. The Mind Thief will run over here. We can even put on our boots to get to the gold. Then we can attack and wound it, and it will die next turn. <laughs> Neat. All right. What does the Mind Thief have? Three cards. So if we do a short rest, is there anything that we can do? When that yeah, retaliates, he'll just kill us. We can long rest in the hopes that he actually just gets like his shield thing again, I guess. Oh, all mercenaries start with three extra negative one attack modifiers. Boy, I did not even realize that. <laughs> That's one of the reasons maybe this has been so hard. Well, oh, and goodbye. Jeez goes by. Alright, so what do we not need here? Probably we don't need to... Oh, no, because this, we get the advantage. A plus two attack. Yeah, no, we definitely want that. Um, we probably don't need the flanking strike. Yeah. Yeah. 
so sad. Okay. Um, we want to keep the flint lock. Yeah, we'll use this to walk in and shoot with the bow. We'll go slowly. So he's going to move. He's going to do what? Move three, attack four. One, two, three. Yeah, there's no way we can avoid this getting attacked, but I think we can eat a hit. It's not a big deal. The problem is... Yeah, okay. Two, three, four... Hopefully he was a walk right up to, next to us, so we can use the flint lock next turn. Okay, that's fine. We'll get as close as we can. We're not going to use our uh, eagle eye goggles because we're saving that for the flint lock. Okay, so we can negate the, uh, wow. Do we want to take a shot on having the disadvantage here? Hmm. This is hard. We could just smack him for five and save the flint luck. And not get the disadvantage. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Alright. And we can poison him. We'll take a damage, but we have health. Alright, so. We'll use these. And maybe we'll get lucky with a big hit. We did. Ah, let's hear it for advantage. All right. Woo. Well. Ah, ah, good to see this one go down. Good to see this one go down. I hope you've enjoyed watching me at least be victorious. <laughs> the last of your adversaries dead, you approach the back of the chamber where a small blue sphere floats above the floor. We didn't get that one chest, but we can come back for it. You slowly reach out your hand and find the orb cold to the touch. With a firm grip on it, the temperature is almost unbearable, but you quickly stash it into your pack and make your way back to the crooked bone. Oh, good. We got a new part. We should have, we should have taken that ne avoid negative scenario effects. <laughs> Having all those extra negative ones, I didn't even realize that was a thing. Should have paid more attention. All right. So how many ghoul piles? Well, they didn't get a lot, but enough. You enter the abandoned tavern and call out to Hale. With no response, you wander around, observing the chaotic mess around you. You wonder how she gets any work done in this environment. As you approach the counter, Hale appears before you, holding the orb. Very interesting. She doesn't seem to notice you at all. A rift in our plane, somehow contained within a spherical barrier, Good thing you didn't break this on your way back. You easily could have been sucked into a realm of pure frost and been frozen solid before you had time to breathe. Or something worse could have happened. It's just so confounding. Who would have the power to do this? Hale takes a step to the left and disappears again. You wait for what feels like hours, refusing to sit on the few stools that haven't yet fallen apart. You call out occasionally, but receive no response. Oh, you're still here. 
You turn around to see Hale in the middle of the room. Good. I'd like to experiment on you if it's all right. She reaches out to you and you stumble backward, falling over a table that splinters into hundreds of pieces. Oh, don't be a baby about it. I'm pretty sure it will end well. Hale explains that she wants to try to bring forth raw power from another plane and contain it in a small orb that could give enhanced powers to anyone possessing it. The containment process, however, requires a lot of gold metal. Now that you have helped me in my endeavors, I suppose I should return the favor, Hale sighs. So what was it exactly that you wanted? Oh, good. We unlocked the Enchantress. I think that means we get enchantments now? Or... Okay. Where do we have... We unlocked her. Yeah, cool. Okay, cool. So, we can do enchantments now. Alright. So, absolutely what I want to do is to go to... Um... Reverse edge. Uh, so now that we've done this, we can add bonuses to our items, and we want to increase this range to three, which only costs thirty gold. Awesome. All right, I'm very happy with that. How much gold do we have left? Forty-one. Okay. Uh, I'm inclined to add a move to scurry as well. There we go. Wait. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we don't have whatever this is. That's unfortunate. All right. So, what... Uh, I don't remember how you get those, actually. All right. So, what do we have here? I think if there's anything particular that I feel like is strong. How much gold does she? Well, she only has six gold. I can't buy anything with her. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's go look at the. Oh, city encounter. That's not what I meant to do. But okay. After a night of heavy drinking, you get turned around while navigating the back alleys and find yourself standing before a collapsed section of bricked road. It leads down to an underground tunnel. Fueled by a curiosity and a bit of liquid courage, you descend in search of adventuring. Stumbling around the, the, in the vast network of tunnels proves rather fruitless, fruitless however, until a well-concealed passage leads you to a long-forgotten stash of weaponry and dried food. The stuff would fetch a decent price at the sunken market, or you could try to turn it over to the city guards, which is always in need of arms and rations. Eh, let's do it. We'll, we'll try to increase our... We can get gold easily enough, I think, so... Yeah, I got prosperity. You sleep off the previous night's revelries and approach the captain of the guard. This is wonderful news. The attacks on the city becoming ever more frequent. Our blacksmiths are having trouble keeping up with our demands. And the food should help considerably if we ever find ourselves under siege. This is truly a big help to the city. So increase our prosperity. So our reputation is five. I don't know what the prosperity level is. But all right. So... Let's go to the merchant. We can get an empowering talisman. During your turn, you can refresh one of your consumed items. That's nice. If we look at pockets, these are new items, I guess. You can carry additional. Okay. Uh, we have battle axe. During a single tar target, a melee attack action. Turn into the following, so you can hit two. That's pretty nice. Oh, the weighted net. This is actually really good. Um, this is what I would prefer to have on Gabby. Uh, for her my, for her um, hand slot, because did I say Gabby Stabby? Because it uh, you can use it uh, to uh, there's something really bad you can just keep it from. I found, found this very useful. I don't think we can sell our current items enough to the hand items. Right? Would be the heater shield. Oh, well, I can sell them for enough gold to buy one. So I'll think about that. see and the stun powder oh that's so good too all right do we have another we don't have another 
slot yet. Uh, she might have another slot. No, nope, not yet. Okay, cool. Uh, I think we'll do this then. We'll sell the poison dagger and the heater shield. And we will pick up that net. We get a discount because of prosperity. Okay, and then we'll equip that. That's pretty nice. Okay. Okay, I think uh, we're going to call that a wrap. Um, what are we doing at the... Uh, God, that's... Oh, that's... The, yeah, we'll loot a bunch of chests. That's good. We're in good shape for that. All right. Well, anyway. Yep. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I was very happy to get that under my belt. Um, next time, I'm not sure what we're going to do. If we're going to keep going down the Juxera, or if we're going to try to do one of the other side quests. I'll think about it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time on Winging It.